Concordia will face Bishop Chittard in their regional championship game. Chittard is the number one team in Class 3A. I think they're going to be a challenge. I think they're going to be a hard opponent. But what we got to do is we got to keep coming hard during practice with what we have, and we got to smack them in the mouth just like we did Peru, and we just got to come hard. The cadets will face a Trojans defense that has given up two scores or less on ten occasions, and they'll face a Trojans offense that features Dalen Taylor, who has rushed for over 140 yards per game, and Kyle Cheek, who has a passer rating of 125.6. We're playing the best of the best. You know, everything... Uh has to go well for us. We have to um, execute at a high level, like I was saying, and um, we can't have many mental errors and obviously physical errors as well, so um, that'll help us. Concordia beat Peru 56-6 in the sectional title game. The defense only gave up two first downs, and the offense never turned the ball over. Probably in terms of our entire season, that was uh, the, com the most complete game we played. Um, we had a game against Bishop Lures in week four where we played pretty well. Um, but that one, um, Friday night against Peru, was pretty good, both offensively and defensively. Amir Drew put up 238 yards in that game, along with four touchdowns. But he doesn't take all the credit for his success. We played our heart out for the sectionals and my personal runs. I couldn't do it without the linemen and all my blockers. So I just want to thank them. Drew has had a great season as a whole, averaging 108 yards per game. He has also scored 17 touchdowns on the season. Amir is a very solid player. He's been doing very well. He's been growing as a player and as a person, and I'm proud of him to be his player and be his um, teammate, and I'm excited to see what he's going to do against um, Shatard. Quarterback Brandon Davis has had a great performance this year as well. This is Davis's first year as a full-time starter. He is the SAC's second leading passer. He's so much farther along in terms of being able to get us in the right plays, his ability to read the defense and get us, uh, if, if we're in the wrong play, check us to the right one. Um, that wasn't so good at the beginning of the season, but now we're pretty confident he can do that. Uh, he's always had the ability to make plays, he can create plays. Uh, his throwing ability has come a long way, not just this year, but in the past two or three years. So we're pleased with where he is too. Concordia has already advanced farther than they did a year ago. Last year, their season ended in the second round of sectionals against Belmont, a loss that gave the cadets some motivation for this year. That loss was so uh, emotional for us. I mean, we were not expecting that, obviously, um, but it was a great win for Belmont, and we knew that, and we knew we were not going to repeat that this year, and we were going to have to execute at a high level and push each other, each other every day to just make things happen and go far in the playoffs. If Concordia beats Chittard, they would play either Knox or Mishawaka Marion at semi-state. This is Thad Goff for Summit City Sports. The cadets host the Trojans at 7 p.m. at Zollner Stadium. And an interception as Drew carries straight ahead, breaks a couple of tackles, and he's got daylight. Into Peru territory, gets a block, and he may be gone. Down the sideline, touchdown. Touchdown, cadets.